Hey everyone, welcome to another TechDep uh, repair video. In this episode, we will go ahead and work on an A2485 M1 MacBook Pro 16 inch model. This unit has uh, been sent to us. It needs a battery replacement. Looks like a there is a small physical damage into the battery itself. And uh, so uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, open the back case, remove the old battery, disconnect everything, and of course, uh, install a new one. Uh, stay tuned and I will show you how it's done. All right. So first thing, you will open the back case using your Pentelop P5 screwdriver. So the long screws are for the, uh, for the back of the unit and the front of the unit uses the shorter screws. So there is no way to mix them. Once the screws are removed, I want you to put your fingers on the side or if you have a plastic spider like this one you can do this and raise the corner of the uh, bottom case and then slide your finger inside and pull up till you hear snap and that's it you will bring this one out all right so next thing we do using your t3 screwdriver you will remove the two brackets right here the two screws that holding the trackpad flex cable bracket. So first thing we're trying to do using now using your spudger plastic tool, um, you need to disconnect the flex cable of the trackpad that connects to the logic board. And next thing you want to un unlock the mechanism that hold the battery daughter board flex cable and slide it out. Now using your T5 screwdriver, uh, unscrew the pancake screw and remove it. Perfect. So now everything is out. Use this, using your plastic spudger, pull the battery, uh, the logic board to battery board connector away from the battery. And now the unit does not have any charge. And next thing to, to just to make sure that the logic board is safe to work, open the computer, uh, open your laptop slightly and press the power button for 10 seconds. That way, all the capacitors within your logic board uh, that has any charge within them, you are discharging the, the, uh, the charge. Um, all right, well, 10 seconds, done. So now there is no power, there is nothing else, the battery been disconnected. We, uh, what we have to do, now we need to disconnect the battery board. And the battery board is right here. Okay, that one is disconnected too. There is one more right here, show you. So the battery board has two screws, both T5. All right, so now uh, the main uh, challenge starts. We have to start removing the battery itself. And the battery itself has small uh, pull tabs on the side that using your spudger, you can start taking them out, I'll show you. You gotta pull these tabs, and there is a bunch of them all across. We're gonna work on all of them. So before doing that, I will try to just separate them from the battery itself. So now, using my straight tweezer, I'll grab one of them and start wrapping around the tweezer.
So you got to be very careful not to poke the battery, especially if you're using a metal tweezer. Do this at your own risk. If you don't know what you're doing, you can start a fire. And it's uh, something that you got to think before beginning some job like this. So I'm keep rolling um, on this tabs all around my tweezer. And you see it's a lot of it. So you got to remove these. If you rush this job, you may break the tab. Then it's going to be harder to remove the battery. Then you, gotta, you might have to use some force. Oops, there we go. I got this tabs, uh, this this one really, I got it really, I, I got it out really well. All right, so take this one out. Let's go for the next one. So each battery cell has two of these uh, battery full tab. One cell, two cell, three cell, four cell, and these are also have uh, multiple of these pull tabs. The reason I use plastic uh, tool, plastic spudger to separate the pull tab from the battery is that I don't want to poke the battery accidentally. And there is a high chance, and if the battery is charged, then you're going to have a semi-fire or fire actually. Beside damaging your unit, you can really cause a major fire on this. So don't do it unless you are comfortable, you know what you're doing. There we go, I got another pull tab here. This, oops, too early. Could have been just few screws and call it a day. I don't know why this is the case in this design, but that's fine. We know how to do it. If you guys want to get one of these repairs, send it to us. We do have a mail and repair, or if you're looking for the battery itself to replace it on your home and you need tools, link is in the description below. You can do it yourself or you can send it to us and we're going to replace your battery for yourself, for you. So perfect. So we're going to move on to the other side. Now these two are almost released. We're going to work on this two uh, cells. And after that, for this two cell, we're going to remove the trackpad to access. So again, using your plastic spudger, start digging. There we go. Even if you break the, the pull tab, you can reach inside with your uh, tweezer and try to fish again for it, even if it's, there is a tiny amount is outside. And just roll around it and it's gonna work out. That's what I'm doing right now. I did break the tab a few times before I was successfully pulling the whole tab. or screwdriver set that you can repair your 16 inch MacBook Pro. I have the link below for you guys. We ship them daily and shipping from United States. It's free and we do ship worldwide to any country and any state here in the, in the country. Using my flat tool, I'm just moving this away, and you can see how much, how much tape is still, how much uh, whatever glue this apple is using is still sitting right there. 
that I was not able to remove after all of the pull tabs breaking and uh, continuing. Obviously you guys can use any tool you want, but uh, something like this, this is a flat tool. This would be a little bit uh, risky if you're not comfortable using it because you might poke the battery when you are trying to uh, basically pry it out of its uh, space and pull it out. You gotta exert some pressure. The other option is that uh, this plastic tool, at least you're not gonna be punctured the battery if you're not doing this all the time and you just want to take the safer route just use plastic all around your battery uh, you can again find this uh, on the uh, description below uh, with, with including the uh, uh, plastic uh, spudger and all of that is going to be listed along with the tool set so let's use the bad uh, plastic one and see how that's going to work oh yeah i love this one even better than the other one but you see there is some more double-sided tape see okay okay well this battery is completely removed but we are not done these two cells in order to remove them we have to remove the trackpad we will open all of the trackpad uh, screws and then I will show you how to access the pull tabs So using your Torque T5 screwdriver, we're removing the trackpad screws that are holding the trackpad in place. Of the longer and shorter screws because they go in different place. Okay, so now the trackpad is loose. I'm just gonna slightly open the laptop and you can see the trackpad has already came out loose. Just gonna remove it. Now by removing the trackpad and don't lose any of these hardware that is attached right here. These are very important for the click. All right, I'll put this one aside and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the pull tabs. So now we are here, right? So there is one, two, three, four, five, and six more pull tabs right here that we can uh, use and remove in order to get the battery out. Battery is coming out loose, guys. This. All right. Well, let's see if it's gonna come out because I lost that one. So yes. And I will push against the battery. Nope, it's not coming out. Gonna... All right. This one came out. Battery is officially out. Battery is officially out. All right. This is the battery. And I think this is our, that's the whole thing. So if you guys are looking for batteries, we sell these on our website. Don't ask me where to get them. Go to our website, Teched Up, and you can see it says Teched Up on it. So go to our website and you can buy them. You can buy the tools or you can just send your laptop to us and we will do the battery replacement for you. Think of uh, all of the services that uh, you guys are utilizing mail you can just send them very easily and we're gonna get them done for you don't have to think too much so everything is removed the back stickers I'm gonna just make sure everything is aligned I'm gonna use the battery uh, the screw holes on the bottom of the battery board to make sure that I'm aligned guys and if you're not aligned, don't press on it too quick so you have a chance of realigning the battery. Again, it's very easy. Just got to have some patience. So this one is aligned. 
This is cruise line, guys. Uh, I am, I think, I am golden here. This is looking very good. Now it's time to connect the track pad. So let's take the track pad back and turn it around. And we will open the laptop slightly. And then I will make sure that my keyboard, my trackpad screw holes are aligning. Okay. And if they are, then we're good. You can use your screwdriver to move the screw hole a little bit around. Nothing would happen. The goal is that before putting the uh, uh, screws in, you make sure that the hole inside the uh, the trackpad frame itself it's aligning with the frame the the chassis of the laptop itself and let's start putting the screws and make sure everything is good yeah. We're gonna bring the pancake screw. We're gonna bring our torque five and we're just gonna fasten this screw. Once this is in, we'll move to install the battery flex cable, battery daughter flex cable, that's where it's called. You guys can find all of this battery flex cables and everything on our website and the battery, the fan, logic board, LCD if you broke your LCD for this model and every other model. We have them all. Now let's just connect the track pad flex cable. Let's put the brackets on and let's see if the laptop will work. Meanwhile, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any question, any comment, please uh, leave it on the comment section below and within our form. You can also visit our website if you are interested to join our forums and help other computer users that they are they need some sort of repair other mac and pc users now it's time that everything is done it's time to put the back case back if you want to make sure that you buy a new battery you can uh, a correct battery you guys can uh, let us know just send us a message or email or uh, just uh, ask within the comment section on uh, YouTube and subscribe to our channel guys if you guys want to support just subscribe to our channel and uh, that will tell us you guys like this type of videos and we'll make more as new models are coming as old models are uh, uh, we find old models that they have new issues we will make different videos for you guys and try to train you guys as much as possible but keep in mind you always want to watch uh, uh, more of the same contents because each technician has different uh, perspective. So if you're doing something sens sensitive, educate yourself before doing it. And uh, we appreciate everything uh, that you guys are watching this video. Okay, and the last screw. All right, guys, let's see if we get the chime on this MacBook Pro and we're going to call it a day. Thank you so very much for watching. There we go. We got the chime and we got the light up. All good. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, put a thumbs up and like and subscribe to our channel uh, for any sort of service, repair, uh, or uh, if you're looking for parts, visit techtap.com. Uh, links are below within the description. If you have any question or comment, please leave them within the comment section. Uh, we enjoyed making you this video and see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.